Hello boys and girls, moms, dads, family, friends, all my supporters. Hope you guys are all well today. Today I'm going to be doing a show on scorpions. Okay, so boys and girls, firstly my name is Julian. For those of you big boys and girls and moms and dads and people that haven't met me yet, I'm from Wild Ones Educational Animal Shows. So today I'm going to be doing a show on scorpions. Okay. As you can see, I've got some boards, scorpions, and then I've got a board with the arachnids. So as we all know, scorpions are part of the arachnid family. Okay. When it comes to your scorpions, you get you get three different types. You've got your, your harmless scorpions, you've got your mildly venomous scorpions, and you also have your highly venomous scorpions, which require anti-venom. Okay. When it comes to the anti-venom part of a scorpion, it's it's a very very expensive liquid it's actually one of the most expensive liquids you could possibly get reason being is that it's got a lot of health factors so it does cure a lot of illnesses and it helps to prevent and cure cancer and things like that so when it comes to the the venom of a scorpion it's one of the most one of the most valuable liquids you could possibly get Okay, now today I've got, I've got three different types of scorpions I'm going to show you and I've also got a, a whip scorpion or a lot of people like to call them a whip spider. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Okay, so over here I've got, this one is a Tanzanian red claw scorpion. Okay. There you go. So you can see beautiful scorpion. There you go. Please, big, big boys and girls, moms, dads, please don't ever try this at home. When it comes to scorpions, they do sting. They're very un unpredictable animals. So these guys are not friendly. They don't like people. All right. So there you go. You can see by looking carefully, you can see the, the, the hairs on the body. So same as your spiders, they do have a lot of hair on their body. And that's what also picks up the vibrations and the movement. If you look very carefully, show you the sting quickly. Okay, that's a sting. Okay, that's a venom sac. That's a sting. There you go. Okay. There you go. So these guys have an amazing exoskeleton. It protects their body. You can see the pincers over there. Okay, so when it comes to your scorpions, also have eight legs, same as your spider, and then they've also got the the pincers there in the front there as well. So that's they most of the time they use that for their defense. They very rarely have to use their tail. Okay, this one is a mildly venomous type of scorpion, so you don't require you don't need any anti venom for this particular type. These ones are very big in the pet trade. A lot of people breed them and have them. They're your Tanzanian Red Claw Scorpions, second largest basically in the world, so these guys do grow very, very big, okay? When it comes to your scorpions, so they do have live young, and they carry their young on their backs until the babies have had one or two sheds, and they're ready to climb off, and they go and they, and they find food for themselves. But otherwise, they stay with their mom for a good three, four, five weeks, somewhere around there, okay? There you go. So like I say, these guys, if they, if they sting you, it's not of high medical uh, you know, importance. But the problem is, if you have allergies and things like that, you can get quite sick from them. So you would never ever die from them, but you can have allergies and you can get very, very sick from these particular ones. So you can see big pincers over there. A fairly thick tail. Okay, fairly thick tail. So that's what tells us these guys are not your highly venomous or very dangerous types of scorpions. Okay, there you go. So like I say, please don't ever handle them. If you do, remember these guys, if they're going to sting you, they're going to sting you. Okay, most of the time with these guys, like I say, they use their pincers to kill a lot of their, their prey. They very really have to use their tail to, to actually sting. Okay, there you go. Okay, next one I'm going to show you. 
This one is a highly, highly venomous type of scorpion. Okay, so I just want to show you up close. You can have a proper look. There you go. Okay, there you go. All right, so that's a highly venomous scorpion. This one is a Parabuthus mosambicensis. So these guys, you get them all, all around South Africa, generally around Africa as well. So as you can see, very, very fat tail, tiny little pincers. That tells you these guys are very, very dangerous. Okay. In terms of if they sting you, having a neurotoxic venom, they can make you very, very sick. So all of your scorpions have neurotoxic venom. But the problem is it's the amount that they inject into you and at the same time it's the intensity of of the venom okay oh, there you go this one's a highly venomous one okay there you go The next one I'm going to show you is a very, very common one here in Gauteng and generally all around South Africa. Mostly here in Gauteng, you get a lot of them, um, especially around your households and that type of thing. But these guys, they, they're very, very small. This one is a fully grown one. There you go. Fully grown. They don't get bigger than that. Okay. This one is a Europlexus triangular fur. Okay, so even though this one's got quite a thick tail, it doesn't mean this one's a deadly one. Okay, these ones are, are harmless. You find them a lot in the households and that. You can see not a happy chappy, busy running around, going crazy. There you go. Very, very small. Another very, very common type of scorpion you get here in Gauteng, and especially in your households, is your Pseudolycus ochracius type of scorpion also grows more or less the same size as this one the coloring is just very different okay i don't have one of those ones to show you so these you'd find a lot of them in your households just remember when it comes to the rule of thumb where the tail is thick and the pincers are small it excludes these types of scorpions okay all right these guys they would still sting you and you'd have quite a quite a bit of a burning sensation you'd have a rash you might have allergies as well, get slightly sick, but you'd never die from them. Okay, there you go. Okay, and boys and girls, for those of you that have never ever seen what a whip scorpion or whip spider looks like, I'm going to show you all now. These guys are quite freaky. I'm sure the movie Harry Potter, I'm sure they got the idea from these guys. So if you look at that, they've got the widespread legs. Okay. Very, very flat bodies. This one is a tailless whip scorpion. So it doesn't have the tail. You can see the long feeler legs. Okay. There you go. Quite creepy looking little guys. But believe it or not, with these guys, they've got no venom glands whatsoever. So if they happen to bite you, 10 to 1, they probably wouldn't even pierce your skin. But if they do, you're not going to get sick at all because they've got no venom whatsoever. And they're also part of the arachnid family. There you go. They get the name scorpion because of the fact that they look, they look very similar to a scorpion. Okay. But if you look carefully, they don't have pincers like a scorpion does. And they've got the one set of feeler legs. It's quite amazing. You find a lot of them under bark, under rocks. Very flat, you know, surfaces, crevices, cracks, etc. There you go. Okay, so that's a whip scorpion or whip spider as some people like to call them. There you go. Okay, so boys and girls, coming back to scorpions. Like I was saying, they're part of the arachnid family, so even though they look very different, okay, they are part of the same family, so they also have the exoskeleton, except their exoskeleton 
is a lot harder than a spider's exoskeleton. And it's quite amazing when it comes to them, they shed on average about five, six, seven times in their lifetime, okay, depending on how big the scorpion is. And every time they shed, they also climb out the same way as the spider does, except they don't really lay on their backs. They climb out and then the exoskeleton that they have once they've climbed out is extremely soft. Same as your spider. So it normally takes about a day or so to harden up. So your scorpions, their, their biggest defense is their pincers, their tail, okay, with a sting, which has a venom, and at the same time, their armor on their body. It's amazing, their armor. How many predators they, they, they fight with, and a lot of predators come short because of the armor of a scorpion. It's quite amazing. Okay, big boys and girls, moms, dads, I hope you've all enjoyed the show today. Thank you very much. Please remember to wash your hands with any of your pets. When it comes to scorpions, like I say, never ever pick them up. Don't do what I do, okay? They, they will sting you. They're very unpredictable. They're not friendly at all. So trust me, when I say don't hold them, never ever hold them, okay? All right. So I hope you guys have all, all, all enjoyed the show today. Remember to wash your hands. Keep safe. Stay indoors. And I'll see you all again soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, everybody.